As you mentioned, Samutin, I, I just was wondering, you know, I, we have spoken, TVC has, you know, spoken to, to some of them, but one wonders um, the impact that those other parties will make in this election. And, and you know, maybe perhaps that's what... A lot of them, a lot of them won't make. Uh, that's, you know, it's what, always like that. That's what we'll Our talk election about next. election has always been dominated by two political parties. parties. Uh, let's, let's quickly take um, this update from Benin. Uh, police operatives have arrested at least eight persons for attempting to disrupt the election in Edo State. The first PRO of ACP Olumuyiwa Adejobi explained that police operatives recovered three cut to size locally fabricated pistols and one locally made gun from two of the suspects at the global quarters in Igara, Akoko Edo State. The well coordinated effort led to the arrest of two key suspects who are members of the PDP, a Motiham Ghost Power 25 and Faraway ISIC 27, both from Ufunama community, Uvia Southwest government area of Edo State. The suspect connected to a large network involving one article and a kingpin known as the boss were apprehended at Sokash Guest House in Ekoma, where a substantial amount of cash and incriminating items were recovered from them. Furthermore, six individuals were arrested at Haibose Secondary School beside Meremo Hotel, Aochi, for engaging in vote buying. This group was found with a large sum of money, a catch of weapons containing various guns and different ammunition of various calibers, a detailed plan outlining strategies for voter intimidation. A fake journalist who claims to be a staff member of one of the leading television stations in Nigeria was also apprehended. Those that have been found in possession of prohibited firearms, of course, we use relevant law to prosecute them. For those who have been arrested for one thing or the other during this process, who know how to have a case filed, they, they are going to be handed over to the Commissioner of Police in charge of electoral offenses. The IGP has established a squad to collate all offenses and take over all offenders. We are going to do due diligence in investigating this, compile his case files and reports, and we are going to work with the ANEC to make sure we prosecute them as provided for.